Hello and welcome back friends to my Royal Enfield Thunderbolt 350 power build. I haven't been posting any videos lately all because uh, the stuff, the accessories, the parts I have ordered online, it's on its way. So there's nothing much to do. During this free time, uh, I've been, I have been wondering uh, the browsing. Uh, I already, uh, I think I said earlier in my previous videos, I'm going to do something with my uh, gas tank, fuel tank. So I browsed Google, YouTube, uh, Pinterest about ideas uh, and came upon this uh, thing called uh, external fuel side gauge, which is a fuel gauge attached to the uh, external of the fuel tank as I don't have any meter, gauge, electrical or analog in my bike so I'm going to install something uh, which is called an external fuel side gauge so uh, I browsed everywhere YouTube and Google about ideas to make one but unfortunately there are no videos about the process of building uh, uh, fuel side gauge there are obviously uh, kits, DIY kits which you can install in your bike, in your fuel tank, but uh, uh, the price when I uh, browsed, I searched for the amount, it cost about 2 to 3k, 2 to 3000 rupees in my case, which I think is a bit too much for just a, a fuel gauge. So I decided to build one. Uh, so here's the video, let's go. So here is a uh, nut bolt, it's, it's called a banjo bolt, it's got a hole in it so the fuel or whatever it is used uh, uh, flows through it and uh, the nut or bolt, I'm confused which one is which, uh, I have to grind it down to this uh, so it would fit the fuel tank. Uh, so let's see. This is the final result after grinding. This will go inside the fuel tank. Uh, as I told you earlier, this is the benzo bolt, and this is a fuel pipe. Uh, I think it's used in tractors or big diesel cars, trucks. You can um, easily get it in any uh, hardware or automobile store. But it was really hard for me finding this thing uh, in a storm, uh, small town like mine. So what it does is uh, there would be a hole in the gas tank and not quite easy doing with single hand. Uh, I also saw the finished product but right now just for the idea this goes in the fuel tank and this goes here and this goes that way and uh, if you can see it has got a hole so the idea is that when it's installed in the fuel tank the fuel level the fuel will come through here it will so how much uh, fuel I, I still have got in my fuel tank so Next, I'm going to drill a hole around here and here. So, the pipe goes that way. Okay.
so the hole is done and let's try this perfecto awesome so you will you oh, oh. Hold on a minute. Come on. Yep. Come on, come on, come on. Let us do. Come on. Okay. Just to sew. No need to put the washer right there. Yeah, that's it. Now, all that's left is to weld here. Here, I think it's called MIG welding. Uh, the local language, I guess it's called uh, gas welding, which is uh, done for thin metal sheets. And arc welding, electric welding, which is meant for uh, heavy hard metal and here's my exhaust not that good looking right now but it's gonna get better so next is to the welding shop so right now I'm on my way to the welding garage whatever it is done nice job dear but the pant is all gone I might even keep it this way looks good I think ragged a ragged look well I think that's all for today see you later when I install this bad boy okay then Adiós.